Uh, we're doing a protest today in opposition to the use of animals and experimentation at UCLA. UCLA has recently been issued an official warning by the USDA for violating the Animal Welfare Act. Additionally, as a part of a recent inspection, their staff actually refused access to certain laboratories to federal inspectors. And in addition to that, we have documentation which can prove that the primary reason experimentation going on is going on here is to garner federal funding. Lastly, we have a signed statement from a UCSD neurologist that basically says at least one of the recent projects here at UCLA basically isn't worth the paper it's printed on. Campus police won't let us wear the masks because they say that in their little citation guide it says that uh, if you can't wear a mask on campus, if you're trying to reveal your identity or threaten people, but people wear them in the hospital, the hospital's right there, and that's on campus, so we're going to wear them too, and we're going to go up and tell them that in a minute. Basically, we're trying to show opposition to UCLA's needless testing on non-human animals. There's no scientific validation in testing human diseases on non-human animals. Obviously, we can't benefit from testing on animals if we're looking for human cures. Unless we share 100% of our DNA with a species, which we don't, then where's the science in it? There's this tremendous amount of suffering that goes on that is completely needless, and we're trying to put an end to that. We're here today because there's a large group of us and we know that we can have an impact, we can have a bigger voice. And so that's why we're here today. But this, this testing has been going on for over two decades um, and it's something that continues every single day. Everyone and everyone can kind of gather up. Oh, everyone, if everyone can gather up. Um, universities are supposed to be like sanctuaries for dissents and peaceful protests, but not UCLA.